this is what it looks like and I'm really happy with it. It's lovely. Now then everybody, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video. It's DIY Van Time. And in usual Colin build scenario, it's raining. Of course it is. It's always raining when I do DIY. This vehicle's really small. I look like a giant in it. Uh, it's Michelle's car. I've got all the wood and everything all in the van and I didn't want to get it all out to just drive it down to the shop. So that's why I'm in the car. I even got the microphone on this because I was just going to do B-roll and no chatting. But I've got everything I need. L brackets, Favlon, bit of extra uh, MDF and we're all good to go. Right, so let me show you what we're planning. So don't look at the wood. Nothing's fastened on at the moment. It was literally just me trying to figure out stuff last night in the dark. So you're gonna have a plank of wood there. None of this is attached. Uh, another plank of wood, slightly higher up. We're gonna basically create a bit of a frame, uh, a framework that's fastened on a lot better than that is at the moment. What I also did is I made a template uh, for this bit here. So I've now got the perfect template here uh, to be able to cut out, which is also the exact same if you swap it around on the other side. This is bringing back memories of installing the diesel eater in the van, you know, having this on, on the door. And all I've done is just use some clips. Uh, if you can see them, just, uh, just a couple of grips there, just to hold the tarpaulin on over here, and then sort of tucked it underneath the uh, pop top for maximum rigidity. And now I've got access to this, because I was gonna try and do it just in the van, and I thought to myself, actually, no, that's gonna be impossible. Uh, so doing it here, I think is the best way of doing it. This isn't fixed up yet, don't worry. Um, I need to do some cutting and some screwing. I need my uh, drill, screwdriver, that's what I need. Right, let's crack on, Nat. <laughs> this tarpaulin's rubbish. It's proper rubbish. There's holes in it and everything. And everywhere the put water pulls, it just comes through that massive hole. Anyway, it's better than nothing. So these two uh, are on now. Uh, I might add another bracket just to the end here, just to stiffen that one up a little bit. Uh, but they're both on and quite solid, and they're both perpendicular, I think the word I'm looking for, uh, to each other, which makes this front end of the board, which is going to be the front side of the cabinet, uh, nice and flat for the door to go on. And that's all coming up a little bit later on. So next, this is the uh, the back side of the cabinet, which I've already cut to size. It needs to go about there. Um, so we need to get that in and bracket it in. But I also need to figure out how far in or out it needs to go because obviously then we need to add... Uh, I've got a couple of spare bits of this MDF that I'm going to be using. This is just like knackered stuff. Uh, and then I need to measure the distance because I want this MDF when it goes onto the back to be flat and flush uh, with this. So then the doors can close and everything because I don't want it jutting out at all. Um, and not only that, I'm gonna carpet it. Obviously, I'm like carpet coal. <laughs> Just the back side and the underside so it matches. When you open the back doors, it looks like it's all part and parcel of the same carpet routine. Uh, that's on its way. Uh, it should be here by Amazon very, very shortly. So yeah, the next piece is this piece and you can drill into these bits here and these bits here no problems at all you can probably tell by the wetness of my hair that my tarpaulin didn't work uh, so i've been out uh, and i've got from the back garden our brolly thing umbrella thing so that's working absolutely fine now so we have made some more progress um i've attached this bit to the top of the roof now with uh, a couple of brackets so it's obviously it's following the contour of the roof which is nice uh, i put a couple of little uh, noggins in this side and this side so then uh, we've got a bit of support uh, going down it's proper solid it's absolutely solid as <laughs>
So as you probably saw in the B-roll there, uh, I've just cut this bit of board down now and fitted that. That's perfect, but obviously the bit of MDF that I bought wasn't long enough, so I'm gonna have to uh, get another just little end piece on here. The join there, you won't see it all. This is gonna be carpeted and so is underneath. Uh, so it all kind of merges into one. So I'm not really too fussed about there being a join here. It's gonna be a little bit more complex on the door on the inside, and I'll tell you that when we get to that. So as I mentioned, I just need the piece that goes on there, and then we'll get another piece going underneath. And then we can move into the van and start doing work inside the van because until the carpet comes there's not really much i can do on this section <laughs> So nice we've pretty much got it boxed in now and as i suspected once i put this mdf all in place it's it's made this shelf super rigid now because it's tying it all together uh, which is perfect uh, there's just one little piece under here that i need to put in because uh, it's slightly oddly shaped so uh, that's just another end piece there but the next thing to do is uh, the other side on the inside and we're going to figure out um the door don't worry as well i have measured to make sure that the bed goes up <laughs> And that there's a sufficient gap that yeah to make sure that that opened uh, perfectly and then also to make sure that these on the door uh, if i just go this way you'll see how much they jut in uh, these needed to uh, these need to go into this uh, and i had to make sure that that didn't jut out too far so then the doors closed and everything so at the moment we're onto the door section now when the door opens as i'm going to open it just like all the other cabinets um, there's stuff on the wall to the side so I can't have the door going all the way to the edges because it will catch on the things on the wall. I've done a 10 centimetre um, gap there and a 10 centimetre gap there so it's equal and it looks central on the thing. This is going to be my door and it's going to be all uh, gloss white so I'm going to chop this end off, chop that end off and then the door will open centrally giving at least 10 centimetres to anything that's on the wall at the moment. It's all coming together nicely. A lot nicer than I thought it would. <laughs> so I've cut these end pieces off, perfect. Now what I need to do is shape these to the shape of the ends. Now instead of doing these and getting them wrong, what I've done is I've cut out two cardboard pieces from off of the uh, Amazons. Believe me, I've got plenty of those boxes around uh, that are the same size as the bits of wood. So I can play around with these, get these right, and then I've got a template for the wood. Right, so I measured it with the cardboard. I've basically transferred it now to the piece of wood. I know it fits perfectly because it looks lovely. Now it's just a case of finding out how fiddly it is to chop this little piece of wood up. Lovely. <laughs> what I've done is I've cut and then fabloned this now. So it's all white and looking snazzy and lovely. And it will look gorgeous once that's up. And um, what I've also done is fit the um, thingy for the what name I call it and then realized <laughs> this will be in the way of that so uh, I now have just a, a finger hole to open this cabinet uh, which is fine you know we'll, we'll run with that we'll run with the finger hole for now it wouldn't be a calling project if a I didn't bang my head constantly on this, which I think I'm on like number 14 of head bang uh, and all got at least one thing wrong whilst doing it. Yeah. So I am happy with the structure. I'm happy with all of the other bits apart from the door. The reason I'm not happy about it is because I've used thinner kind of cardboard MDF and the rest of the van has got thicker wood and it's uh, the white board that you can laminate and it looks really nice. Now I laminated this one and it basically just came straight off. It looked, it was horrible. So tomorrow I'm gonna go to B&Q and go buy um, some more laminate board, proper stuff, because I'm really not happy with how that front cupboard's looking. I'm gonna call it a day. It'll be two seconds for you, but it'll be a day for me. Let's get tidying, let's get sorting. See you, bye. Morning everybody, I've been to b and I've got the extra pieces of wood and Amazon eventually delivered the carpet yesterday but it didn't arrive till about 5 o'clock so it was too dark outside uh, to start carpeting and I was tired and I know when I'm tired I start rushing stuff and I get it wrong so I thought best thing to do just clean up, tidy up and get everything away um, so the first thing on the list of things to do this morning is get this bed down, get the... Uh, backside and the interior of the cupboard carpeted and all covered looking snazzy 
and then start working on the door with the new white piece because I think that's going to work so much nicer. So in true Colin DIY fashion when I'm trying to video stuff, I get a little bit carried away and I do more and I forget to video it. <laughs> I think I've videoed myself just cutting this door out and that's it. Uh, and I've not really videoed much else. Um, as you saw in the B-roll, I did carpet the inside of this and the back of this. That's looking snazzy. Still got this little bit to do here and these two ends as well. Uh, also, I've got the, uh, the door on, which is ace. And I wasn't going to have it coming down because uh, I didn't want it dropping on people's heads but I've got a proper latch for it so there's going to be no issues there and then I've got some iron-on strip that I'm going to I'm going to sand all these edges off so they're not rough I've got an iron-on strip uh, to go on there and I think this edge yeah so those two edges need just trimming which will look lovely and then uh, this edge is going to get carpeted and so is this edge and we're going to put uh, white MDF on it again so it matched and when I cut a piece out and put it on, it looked a bit weird. It looked kind of too plain. So I wanted to break it up a little bit. And so I've put these small MDFs back that I have uh, that I made yesterday and I'm gonna carpet them. The separation just with the wood looks better, in my eyes anyway. It's always a satisfying bit when you do something right. After doing lots of things wrong yesterday, it's really lovely to get things right and just to have that. Oh. Right, let's uh, move on to carpeting this, this and this and then we'll get this fab blonde uh, and get some nice stoppers on here to stop it from doing the rattles. Although there'll probably be a lot less rattling once this is carpeted and that is carpeted. But anyway, let's crack on. Right, so I'm acutely aware that uh, I just cracked on and the last time you saw any of the filmings was when I was laminating the door. Uh, so I've fitted that, I've tidied up, I've finished and this is what it looks like and I'm really happy with it. It's lovely! Well, that's it the finished article done and dusted i am so happy with it and like i mentioned earlier i'm really glad that i carpeted either side because it just ties it all in uh, and stops it just being this big white uh, box behind your head and speaking of behind your head you can sit here quite comfortably i mean who sits like that do you know what i mean and if you did you could rest your head on it I suppose i could fit some cushions to it so then there's like extra headrest <laughs> another successful bit of diy in the van so yeah Thank you so much for watching another video of me on my driveway in the van. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and the next lot of videos coming up, I'm sure you're going to really enjoy. However, next week there won't be a video. I do apologise my brides and grooms and families that um, are wanting their images editing uh, comes top priority, I'm afraid. So yeah, I'm, there's no video next week, but a series of videos will be coming the week after. So look forward to seeing those. 
Or just watch this again next Friday. Or go back through the back catalogue and watch something you might have not seen. Right, I'm off. See you later. Thank you so much for watching. You're all awesome. See you, bye. Good morning, everybody. A oh, bit close. This is something that I've wanted to put in the van for such a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. I hope you're all well. <laughs> I just keep laughing at Michelle coming through now. Good morning. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video. Good morning, everybody. No. Now then, everybody. I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video. Now then, everybody. I hope you're all well. It's now time to do some... Now then, everybody. I hope you're all well. And have what the... This is bringing back memories of installing the... Wait a minute, let's just do this because they're going to be blue faced. Are you recording? Yes. Why is that rounded off? That's stupid. That's where there's a problem. There's a problem. <laughs> Never straightforward, is it, when you're filming? Right, so I measured. <laughs> Just do all that again. Because it's Halloween tonight, and uh, yeah, so I want to scare some children. Right. Right, so I think I'm going to call it a day today. Now, the... right, so I'm not happy. Just start with this. Seem to have some giggly children here. Uh, so, I'll put some music over this bit. <laughs> so, we're looking pretty snazzy. Um, let me just uh, bring you a bit closer. I'll sit up here and then I can do that. Okay. Do this. Nice. Lovely. So, I'll be honest with you, I'm really happy with it. Half of YouTube is, half of making videos is readjusting your camera angles, making sure lines are straight and stuff. You've got things in shot and then the screen goes off. Excuse me. Thank you.